Alright, how to YouTube. Welcome to the live stream. It is Wednesday, March 20th, 2024. We're going to be doing some dailies today. And then we'll get into some other stuff after that. Looking at maybe like a four hour stream. Hi, Cassie. Looking at maybe like a four hour stream. It's 8 a.m. here on the East Coast of the United States. Probably go till about noontime here. First and foremost, though, if you're watching this on the live on a replay, you're new to the channel, and you haven't subscribed yet, I encourage you to do so. Go ahead, hit that live, uh, hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on, set them to all. I do not only Red Dead Online live streams, but also Red Dead One story playthrough, which is currently over, but the videos are still coming out. I think I've got the last one scheduled for tomorrow morning. So, if you like Red Dead content, I think you'll find this to be the place for you. So once again, hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on, and send them to all. Also, you may want to go ahead and fast forward if you're watching this on the replay, like 30 seconds or so. I'm going to go ahead and share the link out to a number of Discord channels. Still doing some additional setup. We can start with the actual live stream here in just a moment. You got a cricket trophy? Nice. Congratulations. What'd you get? Like a team trophy? An individual player trophy? What'd you get? Share complete. Let's go ahead and take a look at some dailies. Under general, two condors plucked, three cooked seasoned succulent fish, 5,280 distance ran, five, five herbs eaten, one Joe mission completed, one multiplayer kills in five seconds in showdowns, Three player kills from cover and free roam events. This multiple player kills in five seconds in showdowns can be a tough one. So uh, I don't typically PvP, but I just know in, in talking to people who have PvP in the past that that it's probably one of the tougher PvP uh, dailies to get. So skipping that one. Also going to skip this one just because we're skipping the other one. This one's probably not too bad, but since it's not going to be a seven for seven date anyway, why bother? So we're looking at five of seven for our generals, and those are all pretty easy. Uh, roll dailies, yours may look a little different from mine. These are for rank, I believe rank 10 and above, definitely for rank 20. So I'm a rank 20 in all my rolls, so my rolls may look different from the ones that you have. But anyway, Bounty Hunter, two bounties bought in from Lemoyne posters, three bounty targets brought in, three more than one bounty target brought in at once. Out of Trader, three deadly predator, three donated deadly predator carcass or skins to Crips. Two goods sold to some buyers. Two goods sold to local buyers. They love to do this. Like, who the heck has four deliveries, man? <laughs> who has time for four deliveries? It's like 12 hours worth of work to get all those deliveries ready. Ridiculous. I think they're planning on you having friends. Uh, collector, one, al uh, one antique alcohol drunk. Six collectibles collected. Three collectibles found with a shovel. Moonshiner, two moonshine bar. Dance for two minutes. Four moonshine serve to other players at a bar. Two played with a band for two minutes. And naturalist, seven crafted or cooked at Wilderness Camp. One don't kill an in animal for 24 in-game hours. You can see I've got that one done already. I was just sitting in camp waiting to go live. Uh, two hardy tonics used when too hot or too cold. So I'm thinking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So pretty easy pathway to nine today, even excluding this craziness with the two distant buyers and two local buyers. Hey, Braytech Bud, how's it going? Cassie got an individual trophy for the competition out of all teams and players in your division. Nice. Congratulations on that. Um, so yeah, I, I tend to skip bounty dailies unless I absolutely need them. They tend to bug, so I don't typically do them that often. Um, before we get started with any of that, though, I did see on my mini-map this hideout is here. So we'll go do that. Check the status of some of our pinned items, particularly the kills I'm interested in at the moment. Uh, 761 with a sniper rifle headshot, 
731 with a sniper rifle in general. But this 806 with a shotgun headshot, we're going to work on right now. Let me get the shotgun ready. Make sure it's clean. And then we'll head over and start our stream here with some action. Hideout. All right, Cassie, thank you. Congrats again. And get some good rest. All right, let's go. Let's kill some bad guys. Or oh, are they like down a hill or something? Wait a minute. They're over by the bridge. They're like there. Oh, I made a wrong turn somewhere. Let me go back this way. Braytech, how goes Valhalla, bud? You still enjoying it? We have to run anyway, which is why I'm on foot. Doing lots of running for the daily today. <laughs> also for the award. Distance. Is actually the What? That head. Fall Adam, how's it going? Welcome. So, you gonna kill me too? It's going good. Nice. Glad to hear it. Get it over with. I'm coming. Hideout complete. Are we tracking those? I forget. No, we're tracking people in need. Oh, we are. We're at 90. I have so many things we're tracking right now, I forget what I'm tracking and what I'm not. <laughs> Unbelievable. Not certain. You look like you need a bath. No splash! Wow, must have had a perfect dive entrance into the water. Alright, let's loot the rest of these guys, see if we can find a treasure map. I need one more to be able to reset that award. We were looking hard for that yesterday, didn't find one, so. Ooh, Onyx Wolf. Let's see if it actually shows up. heard him and I saw the gold question mark for a second. Yep, there he is. I need my sedative rounds though, so I need the horse to come over here. I don't want to go too far over there. Come out of range. What? What? Well, come on. He's still at camp. Try something. Get out of range of the horse, maybe. Try whistling for him again.
on, dude. There's a wolf that needs sampling. this again by fixing all the other stuff needed to be but we got our sample we also got our three predators that sample first though should be six of 100 I only know that because Blondie had the mud runner buck earlier and I brought him over to get that so Please, but she sprayed me anyway yesterday, so make sure we wash it. Don't listen to that message at the top left hand corner of the screen, it is not true. Can one hundred percent skin it. You can actually donate it to your camp. You can do whatever with it whatever you normally could. Uh, certain animals. We talked about a little bit yesterday with the case of the boar or the elk, those you can't do. But anything you can pick up and put on the back of your horse, like in this case a wolf or a cougar, or fox even, you can 100%. Put them on the back of your horse, flee it, summon it, and the carcass will be clean for you to skin or to donate the crypts. Hey Will, how's it going? Appreciate you stopping by and leaving a like. Hope you have a great day. So we're gonna get more than three, obviously. Or we could get more than three. I don't wanna sit here and skin all these wolves though. I know none of them are going to be perfect because I use a shotgun in order to make sure they still had my vomit rifle ready to go. So. Alright, let's ride these things back over to camp. It's not too far from here. Just across the bridge, really. Train bridge.
going all the way to the top, you and me. Supplies are running down fast. See? That'll let me donate. Impressive. Not seen one Again, that only before. works if it's like something it's a carcass, like a like a wolf or a cougar or fox. Um, alligators, elk, boar, moose. Anything that you have to skin before you put it on the back of your horse. Yeah, anything's better than nothing. And it won't work. There's our point one five goal for our three predators, the onyx wolf carcass and two additional wolf pelts. I have two I perfect cougars in my hunting wagon. I thought I was gonna have to use this morning, but That's top -notch. we'll keep them in there for now. Okay then. No a bunch of other time. random stuff from either doing dailies or poacher missions. Very nice. I probably should hunt those badger pelts. For that Madden Nazar weekly set. Okay, Not this week's weekly do. set, but there's another weekly set that uses those. Alright, well, since we're here, let's go ahead and do this resupply. You know, the chemicals I use for the tanning. Chemicals? Hours, the I have not had a chemical wagon since I moved my camp up here. Well, since Rockstar moved my camp up here. Quite a rate. Could you to the Grizzlies, I'm curious to see where we're going to get a chemical sure wagon from and have to bring here. Well, PD? Bacchus, okay, right where we just came from. Let's go back over there. It's actually not too far. I'm just worried about driving the chemical wagon through this area. <laughs> I don't really think that's gonna be uh, any fun, but let's see. Let's get up this tree first. I like the other area of Grizzlies where I have my camp up. Uh, let's go with the bow. Can this be done stealthy? Like, totally stealthy? a bow on these because I don't like to take the chance of shooting an explosive barrel or something. Or hitting a wagon like that. <laughs> Somehow I did. I don't know what the hell that was. Okay, this ought to be interesting. How am I supposed to drive this carefully over train tracks? This is outrageous. This might be one of the worst chemical wagon resupplies I've seen. I've already lost three quarters of my wagon. Just go with it, because when we came over, it would be a hard right to camp, right? This is ridiculous. Of course, these guys are on my ass already. Where is he? I feel you full of hope. Yeah, Punisher's on a little bit of vacation. He's been on a long vacation. I brought him out for a couple days. Um, at the end of Bounty Hunter Month. Well, no, he was out for Bounty Hunter Month for the most part. Because the outfit matched. I always try to swap him like if the outfit matches. Like, really, if it were a roll bonus this month, I'd have whatever roll horse. But since it's blood money, I went with the community outfit and decided to go with the horse that kind of matches. Alright, we're going to get a full 25 of our 20 materials for this. So that's good. That's what I like to see. But yeah, he's uh, he's chilling for a little bit. A couple more weeks. We'll see what happens when the next bonus month comes out. I like Goliath though. He's been good. He actually <laughs> he really did a good job at that Honest Wolf. 
For the most part, he's been pretty good. He could be a little um, mind of his own kind of thing. Like, I'm trying to steer right and he'll go left into a tree or a rock or whatever. But for the most part, he's pretty good. All right, let me get my bolt back on. Actually, I'll probably just take the farming rifle back out. Let's go look for some condors, right? Wasn't that the first uh, general daily? Other than running? Condors plucked. Let's go see if we can find some condors in the desert. Before nightfall. Let's go to... Hey, you are. King of the supply run. Armadilla. Hey, Gen X, how's it going? Alright, where I usually get my condors in the desert, there could be some spots over by Mercer Station. Um, and then Fort Mercer, there's a ton of them in that area. So we're just gonna head over there. You know, keep an eye on the sky as we go, but also, they can be perched, so... What time of day is it? Alright, 3.30. We got a few hours before nightfall in the game. The flower over here, let me grab that real quick. Need it for our collectibles today. Six collectibles in total, three with a shovel. on the skies. I like to perch on rocks too. You'll see them with their big old wings out. That's a crow or a raven. raven. I think the farmer rifle's dirty. Hold on. Oh, move forward. That is not a roadblock, I don't think. Let me see. Oh, my guy's cleaning this gun. No. Two days ago, I figured I could have more than one horse in Valhalla. I, I don't even know if I knew that, man. It's been so long since I played. What, can you have, like, two or three? I know you can have some pretty cool mounts. Not horses. That part I remember. I remember tooling around Ireland on a lynx. <laughs> and actually, the, the France portion had a bear, I think. I think that was Valhalla. That's a hawk. Let him go. up there oh condor so look if they're on poles like this let them fly away first don't shoot them while they're up there otherwise they get stuck on top and you'll never get them down you know the telegraph wires or on like church steeples in the case of eagles and stuff like that three slots yeah yeah i, I, I know you could have um i don't want to ruin it for you but there's some pretty cool mounts in the dlcs It might just be <laughs> regular old horses in Valhalla. Unfortunately, the, the horses in that game are not like the horses in this game, though. Nothing really is. No game really is. Alright, so nothing by Mercer Station. Let's go up by Fort Mercer and see what we can find. we still got a few more hours in game here. usually see them this time of day sun on their wings on the rocks condors are cool man i got to see a couple in real life when i went to grand canyon this is probably like 20 years ago but they did um that's what they did the restoration you know trying to bring them back from the brink of, an ex of an extinction they released them into grand canyon where they're protected and it's perfect for them because they like to roost on like high cliffs and stuff, so. I feel bad killing them in this game, knowing that. <laughs> I could potentially be contributing to their extinction. But they're deceiving because 
At least the one I saw. I don't know if it was a juvenile or whatnot, but... They don't look like their wingspan should be that big. Right? They're not, like, the biggest bird. But their wingspan is ridiculous. Sometimes I like to hang out over here on top of the fort. Let's see. Front door, maybe. Main entrance. No. All right, let's go around. On this cliff over here, sometimes. Scanning the cliffs. This is where I would find wall time in story mode. This particular cliff right over here almost always has one perched on it in story. A little trickier in online. But they're not terrible to find. I don't think, anyway. There's one, I think. No, it's an eagle. Alright. Not on the back side over here. Basically, just right around this area, you'll find one. Eventually. Oh, it's on over. They like, uh. I'm just gonna find the rock. There's like a specific rock out here in the desert, which is like crazy to think about, but is it over there? I'm just running everything over. Good thing I already got my don't kill an animal for 24 hour challenge. Oh, I see there's a collectible over that way. What's that? That's gotta be one. It's huge. Yep, there you go. That wasn't the rock I was thinking about, but it'll work. Same thing here, don't shoot on top of that rock. I don't think you can get up there. We'll chase him off a little bit. There you go, there's your two condors. So yeah, maybe not the easiest hunting daily to do, but not terrible either. Maybe would take me five minutes. All right, we can get rid of the remnant rifle for now. Put the rifle back. All right, we've got to cook and season three succulent fish. Let me see if I have the fish meat for it. Um, no, it's this slot. Yeah, I doubt I do, because I sell everything to the butcher. But, let me see if I have three. So I have nine steelheads and six salmon. So those are the two types of fish that are going to get you your succulent fish. Uh, if you don't already have them in your satchel, great spot for steelhead trout is right here by Harriet, by McFarland's Ranch, right? Fast travel to McFarland's Ranch. Right over to where Harriet is. This little cove right here is a really pretty waterfall. This is stocked with um, steelhead trout. Alternatively, if you don't want to go there, salmon at a craze run right here. A little less guaranteed. I like the steelhead area, honestly. I like the steelhead trout. I use it when steelhead trout is daily, and I would use it today if I needed to go get steelheads in order to have succulent fish meat. So since we don't already have succulent fish meat, we just go to our satchel, we go to our steelheads, and I'm gonna break down three of them to get me the meat that I need. One, 
two, three. Let me make sure I have like mint or creeping time or something. I have creeping time, perfect. Uh, we'll set up a wilderness camp. We have to craft seven items of wilderness camp anyway today for the naturalist daily, so we're gonna double down a little bit here. We'll craft our three fish. I'm gonna do them one at a time, even though I have the efficiency cooking. If you do all three of them at the same time, it only counts as one item for your wilderness camp crafting daily. So we'll just do them one at a time, take our time with it. No rush. There's our three fish, there's our gold. Let's back out, can I make horse meal? I can, nice. So we should only need four more items. You can pick any four items to get that seven. That's five. That's six. That's seven. All right, looking at the dailies, I see we still need to do our distance ran. We've got to eat some herbs. We've also got to do a Joe mission. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to fast travel first, and then we'll eat our herbs. That's another easy daily. But we'll fast travel with Emerald, which is right where Joe, near Joe, before we eat our herbs. Alright, so those are three for three on the cooked seasoned succulent fish. Six of seven crafted a cooked or cooked at a wilderness camp. I should see the seventh one pop here as well. I don't know why it does it that way. It's kind of dumb. I did see, um, as part of the patch notes for yesterday's update, that they fixed the bug where it didn't give you credit for sampling an animal for daily. So I'm, what I'm wondering is, are they going to put back in, for those of you who are old timers, you remember under Naturalist, we used to have um, a whole bunch of other dailies that haven't been available for like over a year, maybe even like two years at this point. Uh, sampling farmland animals, sampling desert animals, sampling forest river animals, those were all dailies at one time that went away because we weren't getting credit for them. So I'm wondering now, Rockstar says, according to the past notes, they fixed it. I'm wondering if those dailies will make their way back into the uh, package here. So anyway, we're at Emerald Station because it's close to Joe. And we need to do a Joe mission today. He's down here. Which is cool because that will give us credit for a Blood Money mission as well. So it's a, it's a Joe mission for the daily, a uh, free roam mission for our awards, and a Blood Money mission for our awards as well. And I think I'm going to do his boat theft mission, which will give me time on a boat, distance on a boat. Before we do that, though, getting ahead of myself... Go to our satchel. We need to eat five herbs today. So any herbs you find in your ingredients section will do. If you want to get a funny laugh, eat some uh, oleander sage. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, but you're more than welcome to try it out. Uh, I'm going to eat something I know I pick a lot, like we did yesterday with the ram's head. What else is a pretty a daily quite often? Snowdrop. Snowdrop can be a common daily. I don't know. Yarrow. Yarrow's a common daily. And they're everywhere. It's, there's literally something right up the road, right up the train tracks here. So you just gotta do that five times. You can also do it, I think you can do it from your item wheel. Let me double check that though. I know you can in story mode. I don't know if you can in online. Yeah, see, there's it's not giving me the option to eat anything herb related. In story mode, you can though. I know I've I've had Arthur eat uh, Yara right from that menu. But anyway, satchel Yara. satchel. Yarrow. 
And one more time for the final fifth one. Satchel. Yara. Herbs eaten. Daily complete. Let's go talk to Joe. Good old Joe. Think he's gonna be polishing his shotgun? I wonder. Just had a campground defense spawn in. Let's see if we can get some more headshots. Shotgun headshots. I'd like to see them fix with, uh, if, if they make a Red Dead 3, there's no reason why being too close to a target should break your dead eye, or your, uh, pain. Like, I, I had that one guy painted, and then just because he got close to me, like, if anything, being closer to something should make it easier to shoot it. Right? Right, Rockstar? Right? If we're gonna be all about realism and everything else. Unless they duck. If they duck, obviously that's a different story. But that guy did not duck, it just got too close to him. Completed the cover kill in Rear Bear? Nice! <laughs> yeah, I got, I've gotten that before. Hey, Miss Dixon, how's it going? Expected to see them in today's list? What, um... What did you expect to see in today's list? Monet, welcome. Yeah, I thought about... I don't want the oregano. Stop it. <laughs> you can do that, too. If you don't have uh, herbs in your satchel, you can just go find some herbs and just eat them. Instead of picking them, just eat them. Just eat them. Eat them. Not just dailies. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they, they put them back in. Yeah, they, it might be a while before they put them back in. Because it was a while before they took them out when everybody realized that it was bugged. Back in, like, November of 2022. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see. I, they probably will at some point put them back in. But it might not be for a while. And when they put them back in, they'll probably screw something else up. But yeah, I'm waiting for the day when I can just go back to Emerald and sample some sheep. Get daily. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not alive. How are we doing on the running? Oh, we're like right there. Let me get about this horse real quick and just finish that out. There it is. <laughs> Alright, there's your distance ran. We just need to do the Joe mission now, and then we'll move into some roll dailies.
Knock, knock, Joe. How'd it go out there? They went just fine. All right, free your own missions. Go on. And boat theft. Still sleeping, but wide awake. About to play some Red Dead 2 right now. Nice. You. you know. I hate when that happens, where I like my body's like you're tired, but your mind is like racing all over the place. At any minute, if that is, it's in my interest to do so. I'm all about Joe, keeping him rich and keeping him breathing, which is where these boats come in. <laughs> They're smugglers' boats with some decent cargo. You'll get them for me from north of Lagra. And you'll be paid good for it. Friendly reminder, everyone, hit that uh, like button for me. If you came in, forgot. It's all good. Just make sure you hit it. In our own self Either instance. on your way out, or if you think you might forget again, go back now and do it. Steal the boat. My honor level is going like up and down right now. Down and up. It was, um... We lost a little bit when we killed the Onyx Wolf. We got some back for helping that guy out. Okay, this is the usual one. Trapper's Cabin, this is called. I've been noticing. Let's see if we can get some more headshot, shotgun headshots. I don't think we'll be able to reset that today, but we're getting super close, and when we do reset it, it'll be the last time we reset it. We'll just need a thousand more to max it out, so. Getting ever closer to being a sniping tomahawk thrower. <laughs> Hatchet wielder. Got to focus on melee and throwing weapons after shotguns are done. So this is another one of those missions like we talked about yesterday, where just make sure you're taking your time with it. You want to make sure you at least get three minutes in. Hey now, you gonna leave here? You got me. I'm gonna leave here in your boat. <laughs> I got you on that. Also, they might have collectibles on them, which makes the six collectibles easier. Two PvP dailies. Yeah, I was pretty upset when I saw that. It's bad enough there's one of them. And I might go in and do the free room one, but I'm not trying to do that showdown nonsense. Kill two players in five seconds. Unless you can get them to stand right next to each other and dynamo them. That sounds like a pretty tough. Task. I don't know, you tell me you're, you're more of the PvP daily guy, right? Is that easy or hard? Kill two players in five seconds. Yeah, there's there's two PvPs, Mystics, and so uh, we're looking at five for seven. The nine for nine seemed pretty easy, based on what I could see. Hello. I'd like to drive this boat. Why is my guy not getting in the boat? Dude, like, drive the boat. There we go. Or row the boat, I guess. <laughs> not really driving a boat. Hard in showdowns, easier in free roam. Yeah, the free roam event one shouldn't be too bad. Are you saying to kill two players in, in free roam events? Yeah. Yeah, showdowns, it's like, I don't know, there's a lot going on. You might 
have two people painted with something and then one of your teammates kills somebody or another player on another team kills somebody or another player on another team kills you. It just, yeah. Free roam events. I, I definitely would definitely do that free roam event one today, but I'm not going to bother with that one because I'm not doing the showdown one, so. <laughs> Play some Valhalla, Brain Tech. <laughs> Still one more? Yeah, I guess so. Well, there was. Yeah, multiple kills. You know, it it wouldn't be so bad. It's just the timing of it. It's not the multiple kills necessarily. It's the multiple kills in whatever it is. Five seconds. Five seconds. And I just hate the whole, like, waiting around for another showdown to start if you don't get it. But I was thinking the other day, it would be cool, like, what they should do for CTAs is they should do lobbies like they do for showdowns. Little entry lobbies for matchmaking. And you should get to pick if you want to do that or not. Like, if you want to try and do a solo one, just say no matchmaking. But if you have like a posse of three people and you're just looking for a fourth and you want to help a low level out complete a CTA, that'd be awesome, man. Like help some random low level out. And I would do that. I would, there's, you know, I've soloed all the maps. If I don't necessarily want to try and re-solo them, go in and help out some random. You will try anything to get one over on me, won't you? But like, why aren't there lobbies for CTAs like there are for showdowns? Saw YouTube on the PS5. How'd it run? Curious. What do you What do you normally watch on? Like, what were you watching on prior to installing that? Hey, Captain Yellow, how's it going? Welcome. I'm just go ahead and bring this in. I weren't sharing right now, I might wait out the timer. But I have other stuff I want to do today, so we'll just turn this in. We've, at this point, we've reached eight minutes. I could wait another minute and get a little more gold for it, but it's not that much more gold. And no longer am I in a critical state where I need to grind gold. <laughs> I'm back up to 333, which is nice. Uh, this should give us our Joe mission. Daily complete. Point one five goal for the daily. Um, that's it for generals for me anyway. I'm not gonna do this one, and because I'm not doing this one, I'm not gonna bother with this one. I'm still trying to get this twenty. I think I'm in my last wave of doing seven general dailies 
no, this one. Yeah, I'm in my last wave of that, so. Oh, I just lost some audio. That was weird. All the crickets and stuff just got really quiet. <laughs> that was weird. Um, all right, roll dailies. We did these two naturalist dailies. I'm not going to do this third one. Moonshiner, we haven't done any yet. Let's go to the Moonshine Bar. We got to dance. We got to play with the band. We got to serve another player four times. We'll, we'll bring Blondie over. I'll serve myself some drinks. <laughs> Back and forth. Oh, wait, there's a jewelry over here. This thing's here like every other day, man. All right, to the Moonshine Bar. Shack. First, I'm clean this while I remember. Not that I'm gonna use it. Oh, you're watching me on YouTube? I'm not. Obviously, you're watching me on YouTube. What a stupid question! I, what I meant to say was, you're watching me on your PlayStation. I want to check that out sometimes. Some time. I don't think I've ever watched YouTube on the PlayStation app. I usually either watch it on my... Most of, most of the time I'm watching it on one of my iPads. Um, occasionally I'll pop in and watch on my PC. Which is when you'll see. I, I tag you guys when I'm saying hi or whatever. I'll, I'll give you the at. I'll at you. <laughs> so that's how you know I'm on my PC. It doesn't happen very often, though, because usually I'm like either playing and recording gameplay on the PC or doing editing on the PC while I'm watching someone's video on the tablet. So, but occasionally, I'll have to check out and see if there's a, if I see a, a notice of quality difference. I like the way it looks on the iPads, honestly. I don't know if YouTube has like a thing with Apple. I don't know why Google would have a thing with Apple. It should be the opposite. I would think. But yeah, you would think, like, because Google and Apple are technically competitors, you'd think that, like, it would l look worse on an iPad than it would anywhere else, but it doesn't. Like, I'm telling you right now, I feel like, especially on my newer iPad. My iPads are not that new. <laughs> it's not like I have the most recent version of an iPad. It's probably like five years old at this point if not older. And the one iPad I use is like probably 10 years old. So it definitely should not look as quality as it does. But it does, it looks great. So I've never felt the need to really switch it up. Gold teeth like crazy. Wish there were a way to like trade gold teeth for treasure map. <laughs> I think like one in every 500 gold teeth should be a treasure map. All right, let's go back to the moonshine shack and get this thing started with the dancing and the playing and the serving. Damn. I already got my running. 
daily done, but miles on foot is an award. And I already have miles on horse award maxed out, so. I spent a lot of time running around this game. <laughs> I feel like it's only do some days to just run around. Actually, when I was doing that daily for Blondie, I did a couple of laps around Blackwater. I knew he would get his without having to do that, so. But with Blondie, it's like, I just try to do the day as quick as possible and then put her in her camp for the rest of the day. So yeah, she, did, she was doing like the training for the Blackwater Marathon. <laughs> oh no, I don't need to talk to you. We're not selling moonshine today. We're dancing. You dancing fool. I hear no end to your kindnesses. You're just trying to impress those lowdowns, ain't you? Well, thank you. Time for, Time a, for show. a show. Alright, let's go. It's my jam. There's one. And there's two. Let me go take over from this dude. I should step out, I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back, and I see that we got our daily. Let me go over here and get set up. You just saw your comment? What comment's that? Uh, oh, you posted it. What, is it like a delay? Is that what you're Uh, 10 bar. And invite Blondie to the shack. She's in her catalog right now, though. Let's take her out of that. Alright, that's his daily dial, let's get hers. hers. Alright, let me get her back to camp. I think it's just the two collector dailies left. Or three, I guess. I forget what they were. Now, I know one was with a shovel, one was drinking alcohol. Take a look at that in just a moment. Refresh my memory. Oh yeah, just six collectibles overall. So we can actually get that. Probably gonna start looking for some coins here in a second. check. Five of seven on the generals. Six of nine on the rolls. So yeah, it really is just these three. Let's drink some antique alcohol. What do I got? Oops. What do I have the most of? Caribbean rum is at nine. Looks like that's our winner. All right, there's that daily done. Yeah, so we only need one more collectible for the six collectibles collected. And then three collectibles found with a shovel. I know I'm going to use that when I'm doing my coin search. So let's go do that. Let's do some coins and... Looking for some other trouble to get into. 
hideouts and shootouts. We're gonna get some shootouts so we can get our shotgun headshots. Let me see where I'm at with that real quick. Eight forty two. Yes, like I said, I doubt we'll get there today, but getting close. We got our eighty three blood money crime. Hat shots. There's an outside chance we're making some hat shots today. Treasure map. I would love to find one treasure map. Item sold to a fence. I know I have four gold teeth. I just saw that a minute ago. Some executions. Some melee kills. Let's do it. Let's go and go to tumbleweed. Get my map set up. My collector map. Generate a route for myself. Let's see if this roadblock spawns in. No? No. Man. Too bad. Could have got some sniper rifle kills. Alright, we are headed down. Not there. That's progress. Map. We're headed down to San Luis. San Luis River. San Luis River. Luis. Do you pronounce the S when it's Spanish? I think you do. San Luis River. So I mentioned this earlier, that's my sixth legendary animal. Man, I'm only halfway through this award. I feel like I need to focus more on legendary animals. Maybe next time Naturalist is a bonus, we'll do uh, a bunch of Harriet missions. So that's 16 of 20, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for 44 more. I think I need three different coins, though. Liberty Quarter, New York Token, and 1797 Gold Eagle. And these resupplies. I'm trying to stay on top of this, man, but it's freaking impossible. A ton of these are white. That's what I like to see. That one always tricks me. Played with the posse in forever, so it's gonna be hard to get that one. What's this? Oh, yeah, that pinned. Blood Money Crimes. Be nice to get a few of those today. Check a few more off that list. I said I was gonna focus more on Blood Money this month. I, I just can't. I don't know. Even with this week being like the treasure map week, I'm still, still kind of hoping I get it without, without doing anything. <laughs> like maybe Rockstar will just deliver me the treasure map. But that hasn't happened yet. It might not happen. Slow going, but we're chipping away at it. I, guess I consider myself <laughs> uh, pretty good at grinding out video game tasks, so putting that to the test for sure. It should be collectible number six, along with shovel number one. Ooh, got the arrowhead. That's a full set. Right? Oh no, it's quartz we were waiting on. Oh no, it is 12 of 12. I think it's because I got the quartz yesterday, though. I forgot that I'm sitting on a full set of arrowheads. Anyway, that's our daily for six collectibles collected. One of three with a 
the shovel. Somebody asked yesterday if the metal detector was worth it. I was like, hell yeah. I mean, you don't have to have it for today's daily, but then you're forced to go to a bunch of spots and, and go in Eagle Eye. This one at least gives you, like, more chances. Like, you could, I mean, in order to use the shovel, you could do... There's jewelry spots you could do. There's fossils, coins, arrowheads. I mean, I think even today's daily would be a lot more challenging. Not challenging, but a little more challenging. If you didn't have the metal detector. So yes, I think it's worth it. snake is always there. If you ever need a snake for a daily, that snake is always right there. I mean, it's kind of a long way to go for a snake daily, but... One more, I'll be done with dailies. Something over here. Card. Heirloom. Hey John, how's it going? Welcome. Should be our last shovel daily and our last roll daily. There it is. Nine for nine day. Head over to Benedict real quick. Yeah, see, 12 of 15 coins, man. That's brutal. We'll see. I doubt we're going to get a full set today because of that. I'll be happy just to get one of those three rare coins. Again, it's the New York token, the Liberty Quarter, and the Gold Eagle. We'll see how it goes. But I'm going to pop over to Benedict real quick. I, I noticed my shotgun ammo is a little lacking. Not the 19. Actually, my rifle ammo is low, too. Well, not low, but not 100. So we'll make sure we've got all the ammo we need as we go through the map here. Welcome. How do you do? And we'll send our arrow. What would you off. like to send? All 
Alright, that's everything we needed. Back on the road. Let's head over here. Here? Roadblock, hopefully. Looks like it. Let's go. Hiding there either. No hiding there either. <laughs> nice. Oh, I don't think I'm looting this guy. Actually, two of them are rare. <laughs> Crispy critters. You guys died on top of me on this one. Looks like they're cuddling in death. Okay, 
still no treasure maps. Told in the past, I don't say fixed natural studies, but today's natural studies was the same, nothing like kind of simple. Yeah, well, I was talking about that a little earlier before we got here. Uh, we'll, we'll see if they bring that back, right? So, um, for those of you who are new and have no clue what we're talking about, the, the vets will remember, the old timers will remember, a uh, time where you could possibly have a sample three farmland animals daily or sample three mountain grassland animals daily or sample three desert animals daily. Those started bugging at some point. I, I want to say it was like November of 22. So for like a year and a half, it's been not working. To the point where shortly after Rockstar realized what they had done, they took those dailies away and it hasn't been a daily in like forever. Uh, which is why you're constantly seeing like the two hardy tonics and two blended the tonics dailies. But yeah, in the patch notes, like Captain Yellow is saying in the patch notes, they said they fixed the naturalist role where taking a sample wasn't counting as a daily. So they were at least aware of it. And supposedly we're working on it. Now we'll see if they bring those dailies back. Because it was, there was like a month in between, maybe even two months, where that was bugging before they completely took them out of the dailies list. So we'll see if they make their way back in. It would be nice. It'll give us some different options for naturalist dailies, so we don't feel like we're taking blend and tonics all the time. But we'll see. Uh, I, you know, it could take them another month to put them back in. <laughs> don't kill an animal daily. Yeah, I mean it's so easy. Like, I just always put my characters in camp and then go do something. Oh, nice. We got the gold eagle. And I would just need the Liberty Court in New York token. But yeah, I, I feel you. The Hardy Tonic one, too. Like, I hardly ever do that one. So it was like the Hardy Tonic one, Blending Tonic one, and Don't Kill an Animal for 24 Hours. It seemed like one of those three was a daily every single day since this whole thing started. And like I said, it's been it's been over a year. I, I want to say it was November 22. It might have even been before that. It might have been like August of 22. So it's been, it's been probably about a year and a half since this whole nonsense began. Yeah, <laughs> Bray Tech. Yeah, I think everybody's sick of that daily. I mean, 
it, it used to be nice if that one was in there, but there were two other ones that you could do. But yeah, I'm surprised they fixed that because there's a bunch of bounty dailies that are bugged that have been bugged for longer than that, and they chose to work on the naturalist one. I don't know. Seems like a weird choice. But yeah, they said they fixed the stable glitch. There's some other things too I saw in there that I was kind of like, hmm. But it's, it's interesting too, so I think yesterday in the stream I had mentioned how it's weird that Rockstar is even working on that stuff, especially if they've abandoned the game. And you know, your first reaction when you see them do that kind of stuff is to be like, oh yeah, that's cool. That means that maybe we'll get some new content in the future. And even I said that. But then I was looking through like some of the reactions on X, Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it. And there was a lot of um, people basically saying, like, no, they did exactly what they needed to do just to stay within legal compliance. And I don't know anything about any of that stuff. I'm not even going to sit here and try to talk about legal compliance. But that does kind of make sense. It's like, you know, if, if you're concerned about getting sued because of microtransaction type stuff that's not working the way it's supposed to, that makes sense to me. Like, Rockstar is just doing enough to make sure that they don't get sued over costing people gold or whatever the case may be, so. I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, exactly. The posse one and the one where it don't, you know, do complete a bounty without killing anybody. I mean, every single one of those search ones, those $2 sign bounties that end up being search ones where you can do the Carcano trick and just lasso a guy and bring him in, you should get credit for that don't kill a bounty, but it, it doesn't work. There's some other funny stuff too, like the stuff with the two minute timers and, and all that nonsense. There's a bunch of stuff in the bounty roll that's broken that it's interesting that they chose to fix Naturalist. I wouldn't have thought that would be the choice. And the other thing too is they fixed some of the other stuff within Naturalist too, because not a lot of people realize this, but when when you were doing the legendary, or uh, the farmland animal samples and not getting credit for the daily, the other thing that happened back then too that they fixed more quickly was the legendary animal samples weren't counting towards the award either. So I don't know how they were able to fix that without a patch, but they did because that wasn't in the patch and they fixed it you know, shortly after I noticed that it was a bug in the first place. So yeah, there, there's, there's still some wonky stuff in the game. I feel like there's always going to be that wonky stuff, but it is interesting that after all this time, they finally chose to fix... And who knows? Maybe it just took them that long to fix it? I don't I don't know. Why would it take a year and a half to fix a stable bug or fixed naturalist daily sample bug? I, I'm, it's weird. The whole thing is just weird. It just goes to show you, they're going to they're gonna do what they want to do, and they're going to do it on their schedule. They don't give a crap about anything else. <laughs> they're just going to do what they want to do, and they're going to do it on their schedule. If you ever doubted that, this most recent patch should clear that up for you. Pepita, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude. 1899 PETA. PETA! I always think of Family Guy. Peter Griffin. But, you guys know me. Most of you know me by now. Anytime they've sent out these patches and talk about how they fix things, I don't, I don't necessarily care about that stuff, especially not the, like, the stable glitch, whatever. Like, it wasn't stable bug, it wasn't really affecting me. I don't play in public lobby, so. I'm happy for people who do. Most people had figured out a workaround for it already, though. Um, and the naturalist dailies, as much as it would be nice to have some different flavors in here with the farmland animal sampling and all that, it wasn't like, it wasn't hurting my gameplay. What I'm curious to see is, every time they fix something, they break two more things. So, what did they break? 
That's what I want to know. What, what did they break yesterday with this patch? Only time will tell. I didn't notice anything too weird yesterday. I haven't seen anything yet today, but we'll definitely be keeping an eye out. And who knows, I may not even see it, because again, with the stable bug, that wasn't the thing in Poker Table Lobbies. As much as it was in public lobbies, so... I'll need my public lobby folk come in here and tell me what's wrong, what's broken. The drunk own moonshine. Yeah, that was that was a bug too. That's true. That's true. In fact, I had figured out a thing for that too, a workaround for that. You just had to cheers. If you poured that glass and then drank it straight, you might get the bug. But if you poured the glass, cheers it, and then drank it, you would get the credit for the daily. So, th none of this stuff makes any sense to me. I have, I have a little bit of background in programming. I used to do like HTML for old school websites like when I was in high school 25 years ago I designed our high school wrestling team's website and I got a little bit into like visual basic me and my buddy actually my, my buddy Charlie who comes in every once in a while he runs a arcade restoration and repair channel called Overtime Arcade me and him worked on our senior project together in, in computer science which was a visual basic program it was basically a Pong we made our own version of Pong so I got a little bit of background in programming. I don't understand how all this stuff gets so broken. I mean, it's you're talking about millions, billions even, lines of code. But also you should be able to identify where it went wrong quickly. I just, it doesn't make any sense to me. I don't get it. Dude, the wolves again today. Last couple of days, wolves have been everywhere. Granted, it's nighttime and I'm in like wolf country, but I feel like one patch of wolves will spawn in and then I reach their leash, they go away, and then only to have more spawn in. I'm about to kill these guys. Sorry, puppies, but <laughs> I'm I'm at my location, so my destination. So you got to go. Just won the podium vehicle? Nice, congrats. Yeah, I can't wait to find out what they broke. It's like the next phase of the cycle, right? Pass comes out, check to make sure the things that say they fixed are actually fixed, and then we wait and find out what broke. I'm gonna stop in at Thieves Landing. I believe I have some teeth. Some gold teeth for the fence. Yeah. I'm gonna stop in and see him real quick. This lady wants to go to like tumbleweed, right? Armadillo. I'm not messing with her. I want to help people in need, but I don't spend all day riding back and forth across the map. I like to start in the southwest, make my way northeast, <laughs> and these people are distracting me from that. So, if you find somebody that's going in the direction I'm going, then sure. But they always seem to spawn in and want you to go backwards from the way you came. But let's get rid of the gold teeth. They seem to be everywhere too. Wolves and gold teeth have been kind of the theme in the last two days. So I'm sure we'll have even more gold teeth later. I don't want to have too many. Then I don't have enough to sell to him. 904. So we're 90% of the way there on this one. 99% of the way there on this one. 91% of the way there on this one. It's all these little things that are like 
Starting to get close. It's weird how they all line up at the same time. Let's go here. Back to the coins. Gold teeth count as collector when you loot them from a corpse. When loot collector from corpse is active, yeah, exactly. Yep, and that's so that's bugged too, right? So that's bugged in a favorable way. <laughs> but I remember um, it's weird too because that's not even part of a collector set. But at one point that was happening with the alligator teeth. If you needed three, you could just go and get them from an alligator because there was, um, I think there still is a Madame Nazar weekly collector set that includes alligator teeth. Whether it still exists or, or not, it did at one time. So anytime that was a daily, we would just go kill three alligators or two alligators and get three teeth. <laughs> but yeah, the gold teeth count for some reason. That's why I always tell everybody it's a good thing that if that's a daily, make sure you don't have too many. Don't make sure you don't have ten of those. Go sell them to a fence before you start looting. Because you may not get an actual collectible like a card or an alcohol bottle, but you probably get some teeth. But you can't take the teeth if you have too many. Which I feel like that's a flaw in the design, too. Um, I really like the way Zero Dawn and Forbidden West, the, the Horizon series, does their loot. Like, you actually get to look and see what's in there first. And then decide whether or not you want to take it. So, like, I've been showing Morgan how to play. She's actually doing really good. Uh, we're starting to get pretty deep into Zero Dawn at this point. And just kind of showing her how, like, you know, there may be a rare weapon modification coil. But if you don't have enough room in your modification satchel, then you gotta drop one. So drop a, you know, 5% one or pick up a 30% one. But just the way that that's done is so much better because you don't miss out on items. My opinion, of course. Yeah, they fixed it. The alligator teeth, that's right. Which I don't know, is it still a Madame Nazar weekly set for alligator teeth though? Is there still one that exists? Skinning cougars still counts? What do you mean skinning two cougars still counts? For Predator Daily? Or for a collectible. Oh, because it's a cougar, a cougar tooth is one. I think that's what Brit Dex saying. Yeah. So I have two perfects in here. We'll throw this good one in there as well. This way I'll have three predator carcasses if I need it for tomorrow. Yeah. 
cougars, the challenge there, though, the cougars are a little harder to find, especially in a public lobby, than the alligators are. <laughs> I mean, everybody was down the swamps during that daily day looking for alligators. I really, at the rate I'm finding gold teeth, if that were to be a daily tomorrow, I would just loot, keep looting guys and hope for some teeth. <laughs> Like I said earlier, I wish I could get more, um, let me see this real quick. Oh yeah, the hawk egg. Yeah, don't do this one this week. I wish I could get more treasure maps and fewer teeth, but what are you going to do? Alright, we're going all the way up here. I might actually, what's the ammo looking like? I haven't really used any. Alright, we're going for, this is going to be a long ride. We're going all the way up to upper Montana. Like second Upper Montana crossing. Here we go. Oh, let's clean the pony. Don't have any cows for skin them in free room. Well, I don't think it's the skinning. I think it's that the cougar tooth is still a part of a Madden Lazar weekly set. I forget which one. I, I would I should like start putting together a list of all the different Madden Lazar weekly sets and all the different items that go into them. This week one is not terrible because you can get two hawk eggs. But if you can get the two hawk eggs every day, you might as well just sell all your bird eggs. So unless you have your bird eggs maxed out, I wouldn't do it. And then you got the Pilgrim Moonstone ring thing, too. So it's like, I don't know. I don't, I don't think this is a really good... I don't think it's a particularly good Mab Nazar weekly set. Yeah. Maybe because I've been at the Butcher. I bet I have some wolf hearts to sell at the Butcher. That's what I'm going to do. We haven't sold items to the Butcher in a while. They thought they were smart? Yeah, they thought they were going to get us. <laughs> So we gotta be more quiet about this stuff. I shouldn't talk about what I'm streaming. <laughs> you never know who's watching. Let's see what I got for this guy. I think I got some wolf hearts. Sorry, we've been skimming some wolves. Looking last to few sell days. your wares or buy some of the finest meat to ever grace this I got town? some stringy meat. I don't need that. Seems I buy this near every day. There you go, there's my cougar fang. Hold on to those. Eh, let's sell them, who cares? Pretty standard I'm always these days. tripping across cougars. Wolf heart. Condor feathers Seems in the I daily earlier. Every day. It's good to donate the crypts, but I'd rather donate it to this dude. Give it to this dude. I'm working on that award. Okay, then. Alright, so not a ton. I could always go and buy... I'm gonna get desperate at some point. I'm gonna buy a ton of uh, beef and pork from this dude and just sell it back to him. Uh, it's under trade. 239 in the, in the sixth round of that. So yeah, that's not too bad. At some point, though, I feel like when we get into number nine or number ten, maybe definitely definitely ten, maybe nine. I'll just buy a bunch of stuff from this guy and sell it right back to him. Max that one out. We'll get there eventually. Oh, I, th I was wondering if they were yelling at me, and now look at how I'm standing. I'm standing up all in this dude's freaking entrails. <laughs> Alright, let's go. But yeah, they thought they were going to be slick, man. And they got rid of the alligator teeth one, but... I forgot about the cougar teeth. That's where it just goes to show you. I wonder, like, how many people that are actually still working on this game really understand how it works, right? We had that issue two years ago. It was very eye-opening. Uh, where horse races were on bonus, which that was a joke in and of itself. But they gave, like, ten oat cakes. And the language in... The newswire was something to the effect of keep your steed going with 10 oat cakes. And everybody was kind of like, what are you talking about, man? I'm going to go through that in one day. 
keep your steam going all month, I think it said. But yeah, it really does. There, there's, you know, at least once a playing session where I'm like, do the people who are working on this game even really understand how it works? Or at least how the players play it? You know, we may not be playing it the way it was designed, but then you got a design flaw, obviously. So, I don't know. I think that's, like, the biggest thing Rockstar can do. But I don't know, dude. I don't know that anybody's, like, hiring right now to, like, say, okay, we need a community manager who can help us sort through some of this stuff. I think a lot of these video games, they're hurting right now. These video game companies. Seems like almost everybody's having layoffs. Get moving. You got a problem with me? I'm just kind of hoping they're both going to get stuck there. All right, up this way. Might stop and see Harriet real quick. See if she sprays me again after all the bulls and everything else I've killed. I was hoping to sell her some samples yesterday. Got sprayed, then never got a chance to get back to her. Here on the bench. Howdy. 
or picnic table rather. Ryzen PC version tomorrow. Man, if that's not tempting. I could be playing it on PC while Morgan's playing it on PlayStation. Actually, that's Forbidden West, though. Zero Dawn's already out for PC, I think. I'm pretty sure. That's gotta look amazing on PC. Pretty sure I have three mud runners and three onyx now. Hey, Sasquatch man, how's it going? Good times and good vibes, and dude, three months membership, dude. Thank you for being a member for three months. Really appreciate your continued support for the channel and just being an all-around good dude for the community, man. Welcome. Oh my gosh, she's gonna spray me twice in a row. Oh no. All right. I don't wanna be sprayed twice in a row. Well, <sighs> Harriet. I just wanna sell you these samples, woman. I mean, in fairness, I did kill a sedated legendary. Two other wolves there. Two more wolves after that. Condors. Whatever I killed yesterday, the second half of the stream, I don't remember, but. It's still frustrating.
Yeah. We're talking about this one and the one before. I, I before it was raining, it was a good one. Coming into like leaving Strawberry and coming towards where Harriet was. I was digging that little ride. The music was perfect and riding along the stream there. This one's not so good, it's raining. <laughs> But yeah, the one before was nice. Nice. Let's see if the woodpeckers are over here. Probably not because it's raining. I don't see him. He's eh, not on the ground. So, it's not 100%, but occasionally you'll find that woodpecker over here. Top three locations for just relaxing on the map. Uh, I was talking about a little bit earlier, the little fishing cove over by Harriet down at McFarland's ranch. This little spot right here is like just so chill. Like I literally could fish for steelhead trout in this little pond. And you guys know I hate fishing in this game, but I could fish in this little spot for an eternity. Um, other than that, I'd have to think about it a little bit. There's a spot over here. It's not necessarily a relaxing spot. But there's a really good spot. I think it's like right here with a view of Armadillo. Like you can see the whole desert and a view of Armadillo. I've used that at the end of a stream a couple times now. I really like that spot. But I don't know if it's like necessarily relaxing or like what you're looking for. But that's a good one. Um, and then there's got to be one here because this technically is like my favorite area of the map like some somewhere near Brandywine maybe maybe this spot here above Beaver Hollow you can look out and you can actually see Brandywine I can't remember if you can see both waterfalls but I, th I know you can see Brandywine that's a cool little spot too I like high elevation lookout spots other than that, there's like a little spot, um, the houseboat in the swamp has like a little board that you walk across, a little plank you walk across to get onto it, and you can actually sit there, that's kind of cool. But yeah, probably those first three I mentioned. So again, it's the cove here, where you can fish for see that trout all day, this little spot overlooking the desert. And this spot over here. Let me see if I can find that again. It's Beaver Hollow, technically. Cool spot to, to look out. Uh, there's another spot in Roanoke Ridge, too. It's like here, I think. Right, you save the lady from the Murphy Brood, and then you bring her up to her friend. And when you finish that mission, they put you at the edge of a cliff overlooking, like, any wine drop. I guess it's the Kamasa River. This little valley-ish kind of thing here. Okay, cool. So, that's what I would say. <laughs> Sunny Shack. Yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, we went past our marker, didn't we? Oh, no, we didn't. We're just getting ready to turn. Gosh, this is a long ride. But, yeah. 
There's some good spots. If you're looking for some good spots just to chill, what I recommend to everyone is go to the RDO map. Not the collector map, but the RDO map. And there's an option for sightseeing. That'll bring up all the different spots on the map where you can sit down and just chill for a bit. North Waterfall above Brandywine Drop is your go-to location for camp. Yeah, 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 that's a good one. I know the one you're talking about. Like, just on the other side of Willard's Rest. That's a good spot, too, actually. That's, that's a really good spot. The only problem with that spot, I would say, is cougars. Cougars frequent that area. And not the good kind. But yeah, you're talking about... Like, here. And I agree. Good spot. Kelly Met Ravine can be cool too. There's spots I was thinking about, like other spots. Like, I'll never forget my first encounter with Kelly Met. came up through, not through the Indian Reservation, but somehow I came around this way and went up through here. Kind of like by, um, there's either Tomahawk or there's, there's some kind of uh, special weapon, like not one you can buy in store kind of weapon. I think it's Tomahawk. It's either Tomahawk or a hatchet. Over there, that, that's a really good spot. I remember looking at how blue that water was. It just reminds me of Grand Canyon. But yeah, that's definitely one of my favorite things to do, is just ride around and find those spots. Like, we'll, the saddest thing about this game is we'll never get to encounter it for the first time, or experience it for the first time again, ever. Like, it's one thing where, if there were some kind of like, you know, uh, who knows, maybe with Elon and his Neuralink processor, <laughs> maybe I could be like, hey, wipe that part of my memory. <laughs> I want to play Red Dead again for the first time, experience it for the first time. But just right around the map, man, that's like, you know, once I got settled in at uh, Horseshoe, that was like the first thing I did. I'm like, all right, I'm going to go explore, I'm just ride around, see what I can find. Not realizing just how massive the map is and how detailed and I talk about this a lot because I feel like I play a lot of games a lot of open world games some of them like like Braytech you'll notice this in Valhalla once you start getting a little more into it there's a lot of empty space on that map and there's not a whole lot to do in there I feel like one of the things that Rockstar did really well with this was it's enough space to feel like an open world game, but there's also enough going on that it feels, you know, it's like, it keeps your immersion in it. Like, oh, I'm going to ride past a little town or a little cabin, or maybe there'll be a legendary animal here. And again, there is some of that stuff in Valhalla, but it's a little too spread out. I think Odyssey was even worse with that. Odyssey had some areas on the map where it was like bigger than some games and maps, and there was nothing to do in there. <laughs> So, I think it's important for an open world game to find that balance. And Rockstar nailed it. Hey Jose, how's it going? The card there at the sheriff's office, I'm not going to stop for it. But you guys can if you want. The tree carving spot below strawberry. Tree carving... Spot below stri- I have to take a look at the map here. Hold on, let me get out of Valentine and get back in the cinematic. I don't even have a game on me, man. You're tripping. I'm seeing stuff. I have to see a tree car spot. Below strawberry. Yeah. You're talking about with the, with the faces and the trees? 
Oh, uh, no. It wouldn't be this. Talk about over here with the faces in the trees. This side of Ongela. Otherwise, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, Ghost of Shushim map, there, there's a lot of empty space there too, but, but Ghost of Shushim was nothing compared to Valhalla. Or Odyssey, I mean, dude. I should, I wish I wish there were a way for a way for me to just pull up the Odyssey map and show you guys, for those of you who haven't played before, just how much open space there is in this one section. It's like a total dead area of the map, I don't even know why they bothered including it. <laughs> okay, Braytac, take care, man. I figured if I said Valhalla enough, he would get the itch to go play. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Thanks for stopping, man. Uh, I might be on in front of the couple hours or so, so if I see, I see. If not, thanks for stopping in, and we'll talk soon, brother. Like Above the dam, yeah, okay, yeah. The, 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 with the, with, there's like little faces carved in the trees. I think I know what you're talking about. I like that spot. It's on this side of Owenjila. So here's the dam. I think it's here. And see, like, even that, like, this whole section of the map, if it were Valhalla, would be completely empty. But with Red Dead, you've got the faces in the trees, you've got the uh, obelisk that's over here, and inside the obelisk there's, like, some fun stuff to do, you know, Gus isn't there, or, uh, the trapper is not too far in story mode, so, yeah. that's. I feel bad for people who's only, who've only played online. They probably look at the map some days and they're like, oh man, this is a ridiculously big map, not realizing that it's story mode. There's always something going on. Like, even not too far from there is a legendary animal, right? The, the buck there, legendary buck. So, uh, again, I think that's an important thing. I think um, Horizon did okay with it, Forbidden West. There's not too many dead zones of that map. But again, it's just it's to me it's it's the balance. They found such a good balance where it's like, okay, I'm in the forest right now. Oh look, there's a fort, right? Like that's freaking cool. I don't have to go too far to find something that's cool. Yeah, a obelisk. Oh, oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm probably not processing it right. Like O B E O B E L I S K, ob obelisk. Yeah, I think I can spell it correctly. I don't think I'm pronouncing it correctly. But it's not a word you use every day, so I wouldn't worry about that too much, man. <laughs> don't beat yourself up over that one. <laughs> but yeah, it's cool that there's like that. There's that stuff. There's like it's like always something to find, you know. You may only go like thirty seconds to a minute before you find something else that you're like, oh, this is cool. <laughs> and I think that's why this game, you know, a lot of people are still playing it five and a half years later, right? I mean, we're coming up on it'll be the sixth year this year this game's been out, and I feel like that's why a lot of other games like. Starfield, which look like they may be a similar kind of thing where you play it for five years, end up not playing it for that long. Even Valhalla, dude, don't get me wrong, I loved Valhalla. I don't mean the crap on Valhalla. I, I probably put 500 plus hours into playing Valhalla. But, just by comparison, those things stand out as like where Valhalla could have improved or where you just give the nod to Rockstar and say, nice job. I'm not killing any more wolves. I don't want to get sprayed by Harriet three times in a row now. Unless these things chase me all the way over to Moonstone Pond. You know, even on, like, to the top of the mountain, right? Like, this little section of trail I'm about to ride on. There's that, uh... That hut. The, the Native American... Hut there, whatever that thing is called. 
the Chanupa story mode. I don't know, man. I just I feel like they just even all this time later, I'm still impressed with how they dialed this up. These are freaking wolves, dude. I didn't kill it, Harriet. It was these other guys. Oh my god, that was a bear. Go away, wolves. Actually, I'm not gonna go by that second one I was talking about. So we're going a little bit of a different way. Alright, if you go up this way... Is it here? What the hut? Yeah, it's like right here. The hut. But even this, there's like this abandoned campsite from the Trelonians. There's just so much to do and explore on this map. That's why this game's so freaking great. And that's why I'm playing it six years later. Big cave north of the trapper. Yeah, yeah, the devil's cave there. <laughs> and even outside the devil's cave, there's the crashed flying machine. Which is like a cool homage to the first game, and I didn't realize that. I mean, it's, it's cool in it, on its own. But it's also cool that there's a side character in the first game with a flying machine. Stranger mission. Uh, did I put this in the right spot? I feel like I'm a little further away than I needed to be. So we're here in this tree stand, I think. Uh, where are you? Gosh, I don't grab this one every four days. Fourth day. And then just outside of that, like if you don't like how how much there is to do out in the open world of like the woods and the desert and stuff, the city, like Saint Denis and Blackwater even, have a ton of cool details where you can spend like a whole day just walking around looking at stuff. Like put your guns away and just walk around and look at some of the paintings and some of the old world kind of like advertisements on the side of the buildings. Or like the building header for whatever's there, like the gunsmith or the blacksmith, or it's just freaking cool, man. It's I'm, I'm still in awe of it all this time later, and I haven't found a game that matches it. Are there great games out there? Absolutely, but you're talking about the same level of detail, same style as this game. It's not out there. Spider-Man Two was great. But you don't get that same kind of sense when you're swinging around New York City, which is fine because it's, it's supposed to be a different feel, right? right now because it's nighttime but side of a hill hey let's throw let's throw new hand over and rocks on there it looks like someone actually took their time and made this you know not not necessarily just the developer but in the in the immersion of the game it's like oh I could picture some guy I could picture myself doing it honestly back in the day new hand over and you have the Amberino on the side of the covered bridge, covered tracks. There's one that says Lemoyne, purple flowers. Like someone thought to do that stuff. It's freaking cool.
Oh, I stopped because of a roadblock. I thought I was up with my destination. Uh, I don't feel like going back to do that roadblock. Oh, and it despawned anyway, so there you go. Why did this one have to spawn in? Weird. Oh, God. <laughs> Who it is? <laughs> my buddies. Will they go away as I get closer to Hamish's cabin? Because it's like a safe zone, or no? Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Delivered right to Hamish's doorstep. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh man. Uh, the wolves went away. That answers that question. Maybe, maybe, depending on what the sun is doing in game. Go check out that spot I was talking about. Oh yeah, three o'clock. Oh, dude, we gotta get over there. Hello, Buell. We'll see you later, bud. Hopefully, no distractions, so we can get Come there on, kind of around the sunrise. Cougar chasing me? I guess it went away. Whoops, not going up that way. Okay. How the heck do I normally get up here? I've got it's not the first time getting this collectible. I go over here maybe? I forgot how to get up to this one, man. <laughs> Parked the horse in the wrong spot. This collectible, and then we'll go check out the spot I was talking about before. I know this one because there's a vulture egg up there once in a while. So let me put this marker on because we're going here next for collectible. And then we'll try to get up to... I don't think I can get up here from here. Maybe I can, though. And the timing is going to be freaking perfect. The sun is just starting to come up. 
keep an eye out for snakes. Go up a little higher. Essentially, this is where Arthur and John escape from the cave. But I just love, look at that. Look at this. We're like up here around the perfect time too, because like I said, the sun's about to come up over that way. So yeah, let's just enjoy this for a second. Look at that. So you can't see both waterfalls. I, I, I thought maybe you could, but you can see pretty one drop and the rest of the like ravine. It just looks so freaking cool. Go away clouds. It's so funny because this is how I normally end the stream. I'm not ending the stream, folks. <laughs> We're just enjoying the sunrise real quick. I'll stop talking. I mean, <laughs> you gotta love that, right? That looks like a freaking picture, like a painting. So good, man. So freaking good. I saved that, by the way. I might post that to social media later. That's like, this is definitely, you know, it's an underrated spot, I think. I don't think many people realize how good that spot is. At least to me, anyway. Back to work <laughs> after after a brief time out.
there. So anyway, just show where that spot was again. It's right there, right above the A in Annisburg. Reminds me of like the area where I used to go hiking a lot. Kind of like western, northwestern Connecticut, eastern New York. Um, there's not really any waterfalls like that, but just the way the the trees all look and leaves and especially in story mode, I feel like in story mode it's more like it feels almost like autumn, right? Fall. And that area of our state is beautiful. Like around the second, third week of September when the leaves start to change over. Orange and yellow and red. I, I hiked on a trail not kind of like that um, again without the waterfall and the trees were all like yellow and orange as the sun was coming up it looked like the forest was like on fire but not like fire in like a bad way fire it just looked like I don't know some kind of magic uh, it's gonna sound weird but uh, like some kind of magic had been put over like an enchantment spell and put on the forest I felt like I was living in like a fantasy world You gotta stop, man. I like to hike because it was good exercise. Do like seven, ten, sometimes twelve miles. But it's uh, always had time to stop and smell the roses, so to speak, or stop and enjoy the the viewpoint. I should one of these days maybe I'll, I'll go through all my old photos from when we used to go hiking, me and the dog post them on the community page or something. Outlaws is not just a gamer. I think most of you guys know that by now. Outlaws is a Lego builder and a hiker and <laughs> baseball coach slash softball coach slash Little League board member. Man, if you guys knew half the stuff I do, I feel like a lot of people are like, how do you do all these four to six hour streams? Don't you have a life? I'm like, hell yeah, I got a life. I'm always involved in something. I always got something going on. I need to do more of that. Some more like behind the scenes type stuff. For sure. Show you guys that I'll just sit here all day and play video games. <laughs> Even though it's a big part of me. It's a big chunk of what I like to do. There's so much more going on. Another gold quarter? I thought I had too many of those. Let's see. Nine. Uh, I might actually go help this lady. I said I was going to do more helping. And this one's an easy one. Get a lot of kills. Bring the lady up the hill. And then we get that other view I was talking about. Just a moment ago. So let's go check it out. Hopefully she's down here. I think as long as the friend is there, should this lady be down the hill too. I wish, I wish I had manual paint. I would love to paint all five of these dudes' heads. Oh, sure. Let's see if I can get him back. There you go. That's how you're supposed to do it, sir. No. From the beauty of the game, to the ugly side of the game. <laughs> Another gold tooth. 
I want there to be a bug where every gold tooth is a treasure map. I'm gonna have treasure maps forever. It's safe to come out, but only for a minute T until it's not safe. Christ, you kill all them sons of bitches. Yes, I, I was did. by the water and they came out of nowhere, just chased me down. I don't know why I ran in there, but then they had me trapped. I'm camping up the hill a ways with my friend. Would you mind? Not at all. Come on. You'd be my 92nd person help. Or something like that. Oh no, they're back! Pretty efficient killing. <laughs> the guy just sit right into it. Alright, I think that's it, ma'am. Let's see. Pinned. The heck is it? Oh, it's only 81? I thought we were in the 90s on this one. Oh, well. It's done now. Just up a bit further. Much with that. Please oh, that's what he said yesterday about stay. youngins. Can't feed them much with that. Are you talking about this lady on the back of my horse? How do you feed her to them? <laughs> the NPCs are so bugged, man. When they talk about, like, if you do any shooting of animals, they get all weird about, like, your hunting ability. Alright. Thanks. <laughs> Guess we ain't too welcome around here, huh? Here. This is all I got. So, we're gonna get that video I was talking about before. Look at that. That's a good one, too. Um, it's not the right time of day, but you can get some good sunsets, right? So, the other one was good for sunrises. This one's good for sunsets. You can actually see somewhere over there. Oh, there's a defend the campsite down there now. Somewhere over there. There's Brandy Wine again. A little closer this time. Actually, so that's the opposite hill. Right? Uh, somewhere over there is Beaver Hollow. That's where we were standing before. And then that little rock right there. If you know, you know. He ain't there yet, but he will be. By the end of chapter 6. Alright, let's go. I would love to defend a campsite, but I'm going to go get this coin instead. My shotgun headshots are not really getting there today, so... Eight Alright, next one is all the way over. Cross for anyone, drop to... Here. We'll go here and then follow the tracks.
shiny vent spawning behind me. Looks like there's a cougar tracking us. Looks like there's a bear. Sounds like a black bear, but. Let's see what happens to this guy. I think we're fine. Let's just move on. No, we didn't see today. I totally blundered this. We were over here at this. And Madame Nazar is like, right here. <laughs> why, why did I do that? Uh, I guess we're not going to see her today. Alright, back up and around. I have to keep I hate to keep beating this dead horse, but even this is cool, right? There's like this open space up here. You're like, oh hey, what's up here? A little bit of an open space. Bam! Freaking meteorite, dude. <laughs> like That's a cool idea. And it looks freaking cool too. It's not just a cool idea, it looks cool. first discovered that one too it's like man I wish I, I said it before I'll say it again I wish I could drain my brain of all Red Dead stuff and go back and play it for the first time and then get my memory back immediately afterwards because I did spend a lot of time learning a lot about this game <laughs> I wouldn't just throw that away But just anything for one time. Be able to play it one time with no experience again. Oh, the loft? I forgot about the loft. The loft's a good one, too. Top of the loft. Use it as a lookout. You can see like almost the whole freaking map up there. Let's go up there, actually. You can actually see all the way down the side of the knee. There's the church. Rocks or uh, twin stack pass. Can't see Valentine because this is in the way.
But I don't know, man. Pretty good spot, too. Forgot about this one. Come on. It was all going to be fine until you turned into me. Don't make two mistakes now. Put that gun away. That's a cougar. And I'm getting dumped. And it's only a one star cougar right there. Oh, you can't get on me that quick, dude. Get off me. I'm back over here. I dare you. Oh, I didn't kill it. What the hell?
Excuse me, sir. on it. Ooh, 1797 gold deal. That's two. It's two today. Nice. And a hideout spawned in over here. Let's go do that. Big rock like it was a ramp. Where's this guy? Oh, there he is. There I am. And then the leader can wait. You think there would be like a timer? Eventually the leader, the leader would just run off. Instead of just sits there cowering all the time. 
After talking trash. Dang, that one of them had a treasure map. Unbelievable, man. Maybe this guy will. But dude, you could hear Rand like to sound the knee already. Where is he? Look at him. Coward. Looks like I was running with the wrong guy. Shut the hell up. Where's the rock I ran up? Oh! Oh! Dude, come on! Broken kneecap from a boar. Is it this rock? Yeah, it was this rock. Right, so I was over here. I'm caught air. I see that time he didn't do it oh, because he had his gun out last time. Hold on. No, see, now he's jumping up. Or, uh, vaulting up it. I don't understand why he's not. There we go. But it didn't work. Hold on. I don't understand why. Because <laughs> I was in Dead Eye, maybe? That's uh, weird. Why did that work when I was in the middle of the fight? Back to Trapper's Cabin, where we stole the boat much, much earlier in the stream.
my gosh. Did I time it right? Yep, got him. <laughs> Just before we got the alligator. Nice job. I thought to get this one. I have a feeling we're going to be getting that. Ten small animals don't need to decrypt daily soon, so grab those. I should use my bow. Model or card. It's a card. This is gonna be... Actually... Oh, never mind, it went away. <laughs> that, was, that happened twice now, where a moonshiner spawned in behind me. Just before I got out of the area where it would spawn. I don't even know why it bothered to spawn those in.
Hey Silas, how's it going? Uh, I am in a poker table lobby. And I'm actually only going to be on for maybe like another half an hour or so. Hey Chaotic Fox, how's it going? Uh, I'm a rank 1000. I'm okay. I'm better than yesterday. Sorry, having a rough start. Hopefully it gets better for you. Campground defense. Twice it broke my lock and I was too close to him. Don't understand why that's a thing. That one painted a missed. <laughs> what the hell?
see if this ambush over here spawns in. Going back the other way, down to breathe. Wait, uh, not that far though. We'll go there.
Roblox? Looks like it. Let's go. I'm only down to 15 slugs. Better make them count. If you shoot him in the hand, they should drop the gun. That was a mechanic in the first game. Not sure why they got rid of it. Hey, Wason Tech, how's it going, man? About a minute. Hope you're doing well. I did miss one. Alright, let's go back into roads. I gotta sell some stuff to the fence. I wanna pick up some ammo. Welcome back. Got anything good for me by any chance? Mm, sure. Just Let me see. You got a decent eye for these things. Small the looks little like purchase or sale. Don't you tell no one. Here. I won't tell no one. Don't worry. Back over to the post office.
Can you get me camping? You can, oh my gosh, I never knew that. We need to go to McFarland's for our last coin that's in the train tunnel. But that's good, that'll actually allow me to show you all the, the other spot I was talking about. Overlooking oh, Armadillo. Armadillo. Too many half eagles. Fantastic. Alright, let's go look at the spot I was talking about. See, I have to go right. At this point, don't go straight to the waypoint. Go over here. Downhill. Back up the hill. I swear it wasn't a little later in the day. It'd be a good sunset shot. Actually, it might be the other side that I like. This one's not bad, though. It's actually that other side. But the, it, the effect is the same, right? You get these cool cliffs with the desert. It reminds me a lot of um, when I went to Vegas one year. I went hiking in Red Rock Canyon. It's the same kind of, kind of deal. You get these overlooks. There's no town there, obviously. It would just be, like, desert. And on the other side is freaking Vegas, which is funny. But, yeah. Armadillo, the Vegas of Red Dead. <laughs> um, let me see something here. I might, I might want to do something. What are my shotgun headshots up to? Eight sixty-two. Oh man, I'm gonna regret this, but I think I want to do a CTA. Shotgun only CTA. Let's see if we can get some headshots. And. Maybe some executions, some hat shots. I didn't find the treasure map. Did all our dailies. I'm at the point normally where I would stop, but I don't know if I'm ready to stop quite yet. So let's give it a shot here. I'll bring the bolt, but I probably won't use it. I did a sweet DA, man. Let us craft.
I don't have any mint. Let us fast travel <laughs> to the time room to get some mint. <clears throat> Not sure I'll have time for all ten waves, but I definitely want to get my shotgun headshots. Get as many of them as I can. My tonics were better. These horses lined up. Oh shit. Sorry, got a text message from Lady Outlaws. Some people in front of her at the grocery store spent 1600 bucks. <laughs> I'm like, they must be throwing a party or something. Maybe they bought a couch or TV. Who knows? So for those of you who are familiar with this channel and the CTAs and everything that I do, this will be very different. Uh, I'm not too worried about doing all 10 waves. I've already soloed every single map, including the regular maps, Halloween maps, and holiday maps. So if I don't make it through solo, it's not a huge deal to me. Uh, you know what? I should make some time game too. I just saw that pop up. Yeah, let's do it. This is strictly for me trying to get as many shotgun headshots as possible in the shortest amount of time. So, If you want to see me solo other maps, I do have a playlist on the channel here. I think it's called Solo CTAs. But check it out on the playlist section of the channel. I've successfully completed every single one of them. In fact, some of them I've done a few times. I did uh, Valentine without a minimap one time. That was nuts. I did both McFarland's and Valentine without a minimap. Solo. So yeah, I'm not going in competitively to try and get it all 10 waves done I'm going in try and get as many shotgun headshots as possible 17 minty big games 14 time big games I'm gonna take one right now actually ah we'll wait till we get in there all right let's do this Valentine Probably won't get all of them. I'd need a hundred and something headshots. I doubt that's gonna happen, but let's see.
Thank God. Maybe we're gonna make it after all. Let's <laughs> do too much faith. But also, stand back a little bit, bro. If you're trying to sell this, line that up a little better than I just did there. I feel like I missed one. Man, this one's so long. Slug to the door there, but I don't know. We're gonna set it's alright. Actually, I have one more barrel. Oh, there are two more barrels. Here we go. Eight sixty two.
language. Don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him. What the? Seventy-one to nine. Yeah, so even if I get that average every wave, it's not gonna happen. Hey, hillbilly, how's it going? Happy hump day, indeed. Hump day. Oh man, every day is hump day. Every day is hump day. Oh man. Yeah, so we'll, this will this will put a good dent in the chunk that we need here. I haven't done this yet. Honestly, I could have come in and just farm these all the time. We would already be there. But it's alright. Yeah, Pompey. I love it. Honestly, it might be my favorite weapon in the game because it crosses from story mode to online well. Whereas, like, the bolt, I don't really care for the bolt in story. As much as I love it in online. And the navy is my favorite. Sidearm, that's not actually in story mode. So, I think the pump might be my favorite. And right now, it has to be because. It's the only thing I have left of my sharpshooter rewards is these freaking, well, not the only thing I have left. The only realistic thing I have left in my sharpshooter rewards. I don't know about these sniper rifle kills and the definite these headshots. I mean, we'll, we'll maybe we'll get there. We'll play for another five years, but the shotgun headshots, we reset this after this one, and then we do another thousand and we're done. So it's pretty exciting. 
Yeah, I love the Navy. I absolutely love, I swear by the Navy. Especially, I, in this outfit, I only have one holster. If you can dual wield navies, dude, freaking. These CTAs, I don't want to say they're easy. They're still challenging when you're trying to do them solo. But with the, with, to me, with a pump as your secondary weapon, the bolt as your primary, and dual wield navies, you're good to go. I'm just doing this because I want these shotgun headshots. Also, it looks real cool. Something like that. With some of the dude twisting his head afterwards. Like other than like maybe Shady Bell or the uh, Sound of the Cemetery, if you have your preferred loadout, these shouldn't be too hard. I mean, I'm doing stupid stuff for now, shotgun only. I won't disappoint you. Guy's dying. Where's the other guy going? I do like me some sawed offs too. During Moonshiner months. Hey Sam, how's it going? Welcome. Sorry, I missed you coming in there for a second. A little busy. Though. I know you know what this is like. Are you trying to sell those CTA? I'm not really trying to solo the CTA. I'm just sitting here trying to get my shotgun headshot kills. Taking a little too long there. Oh, nice. Dude, duck perfectly through the little crossbeam there. Shells a good old time, that's right. Look at the allies are all fired up, they're still shooting, even though no one's there to shoot. <laughs> Gotta love it. Man, it's been a minute since I've done this. I forgot how fun this is. I'm trying to solo CTAs. What am I doing? 116. Alright, we'll leave it alone for now. I figure out what I'm gonna do with the war wagons arrive. If I even get that far. Let's see, let's see. 901, okay. We're into 900s. 1,099 more. <laughs> let's go. I thought I got through the wagon. I can do that. Ah, 
<laughs> I just knocked all three of them down with one shot. That was great. Oh, oh. Oh. There you go. Plastic bull. Just get out when the open so I can kill you. Line on one. 925, dude, we, I don't know, man. We might actually get there. I didn't think I was going to get this close. I think it's so much harder right now, though. I'm going to run out of ammo before I can get it, I bet.
<laughs> you always pretend to have the face of your ex wife. That's hilarious. What a day. I wish this would stop running around the house, thank you. <laughs> Get out in the open where I can shoot your ass. Come on, man, quit running away. Caught reloading, did you? See it. How we doing? Ooh, 951. Can I get 49 more? I don't know, man. I gotta get more ammo for sure. Should probably switch my tonics coming up here soon, too. I don't think I've ever tried a shotgun only solo before. There was that one day where I went in and did this for like three or four rounds, but I think it's a little more seriously now. Let's see if we can get there. Let's see if we can get to our thousand. It can happen probably early in a wave, because that's what always happens. But we're going to try it. Oh, I just picked up ten more right there. I forgot that that one has uh, shotgun shells. Alright, how are we doing? Ooh, 120, we got a full boat. Let's go. Oh, machete guys, good times. Machete guys have arrived. Machete guys have arrived. Sniper over here too, so. Oh, stuck. Got there. Sniper's around. Standing still with snipers around. Oh, 
almost thinking the same thing. Okay, that's a lot of guys coming. Get out of here real quick. So it's going to the other side of town. <laughs> Ah, oh, pony, don't run into the way. I'm trying to shoot your guy. Okay, pulse check. 981, let's go, 19, let's go. I didn't think we were gonna even get close to this, man. I have war wagons now, though. up a little better. I D 
ideally that gunner got out of the, he must have got out of the war wagon. I guess we're, how we're going to handle the war wagons for shotgun only is just use incendiaries. I wish I had crafted some explosives. Because once that thing's on fire, then he gets out. You can do that. <laughs> That's how you kill the war wagon. And a shotgun only challenge. I hear that tanker behind me leaking. That's gonna be bad. Hope I'm not near it when it finally decides to go. <laughs> nah, man. I, honestly, dude, it's all freaking auto aim. Like, if it, if this game was free aim, I would be toast. I mean, maybe I could get used to it, but. I appreciate that though. I don't mean to be uh, not taking the compliment. I appreciate you saying that. I've had tons of practice. I mean, I've probably done a thousand of these, either by myself or with friends. Like anything, the more you do it, the better off you get at it. And I still don't even think I'm that good. Buckethead, huh? No. Is it? Yeah, it is. Obviously, that's gonna be a problem. Oh, no, no, no! Take the tonic! Take the tonic! I ran into the friggin' horse. Whoo! That was close. Oh, lost my hat. Must be later wave. A little tip here too, if you lose your hat and you want it back at the end, just leave it alone. Because if you pick it up and lose it again, you can't get it back. I usually wait till the last enemy. Just before the last enemy. So, any regrets? Definitely gets a little harder in the later ways to get headshots for sure. Mr. Buckethead's over here. Alright, I need to pick up some ammo at some point. I'm still talking. He's bleeding out. <laughs> it's like speaking pretty well through the blood in his throat. Wait for me. I'm trying to pick up ammo. <laughs> I 
I said, <laughs> get away from me, I'm trying to pick up the other one. Get out in the open and kill you, please. Oh, I said get out in the open. I'm hiding the house. Here we go. Should have left well enough alone. There it is! It happened at the end of a wave. That's nice. So I'm gonna get six that won't count. I still need to find some more ammo though. I guess really it'll only be five I'm gonna miss because I always like to get the last guy anyway. That doesn't count as a headshot. Can't force that war wagon dude out. Don't know for sure until we go back over there. <laughs> until he's around that way. Let's see. Yep, he's moving around like a person, so. That is definitely a strategy against the war wagon. Oh my gosh, look at this thing! <laughs> yes! Dude, there's fire everywhere from that dang thing, though. What, did it brush up against this other wagon and light something up? That's nuts. Ah, 
Ouch. Bucket heads are a problem. This is real as it gets you, son, bitch. I don't want to drop my bolt for that. I'll do this though. Drop it. Pick it back up. Thank you very much. Dang! Uh oh. More wagon. Um. These guys. Don't aim on that. That time. Sounds like maybe I did. We're gonna have to wait and see. Uh, I don't know if it's not moving like a war wagon. Oh, yep, it's over there, toasty. There's no gunner. So that's good. Alright. Hey, Lady Outlaws, howdy. Only 10 since I reset? That seems low. Of course, I have been kind of in chaos here. Uh, is that another war Is that the. Yeah, okay. I thought, is that another war wagon? No. That's the gunner from the original war wagon.
not the fuck ahead. This is where I normally go to Dynabo, but <laughs> I'm trying to do shotguns only now, so no Dynabo. That war wagon from the earlier wave is still some there. Earlier wave. Last wave. Previous wave.
down Main Street. See what happens. Run right into war wagons. Swiftly. I mean, uh, machine gun. Where? Oh, he's right here. Oh, look out. Oh, that wasn't a machete guy. Grab this one? Damn. Alright. Fine, up there. No, not that guy. Hey Bullet, how's it going? Just uh, trying to do a solo of Valentine using only a shotgun. I've soloed this map before. Regular. And with no mini map on. Since I'm working on shotgun headshots, I figured what the heck. I should have made some specials, man. If I had thought that this was like doable, <laughs> I would have made some specials. Miracle Tonics. And maybe some special health cures. And... Soon you'll be rotten in the sun! so funny, it looks like the war wagon, but it's not, because I got the guy out of there already. It's just the course, icon. Oh boy, look out.
Damn, let me drink it first. <laughs> Is that wagon alive? Oh, that's what I was being torched earlier. Dude, the dead wagon is just rolling. <laughs> There's someone in there. I don't know if it's a driver or whatnot. <laughs> Dude, that's hilarious. Hold on, let me see if I can cut him off over here. Where? He, he got out. What the hell, man? Ah, <sighs> golly. Let's see if we can get these bug ants separated a little bit. Oh, actually, that'll work. Nope, nope. Oh no, the crate's bugged? No, 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 don't get a fist fight. Get out of there, dude. Not be doing that right now. Damn, man, I'm gonna run out of freaking ammo. are bugged. Man! <laughs> well, we're gonna get nine waves with the shotgun only. But we're not gonna be able to get ten. Let's see. Maybe if they reload it back in, they'll be stocked. Ooh, nice! Hold on a second. Let's not quit yet.
Okay. 83? Let's see what happens. I gotta find this four wagon first. Here it comes. No, not that guy. No, 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 not that guy. Holy crap, a lot's going on. <laughs> Get off this area too. I probably have 17 machete guys chasing me. That's fun. But I think we took care of the war wagon, which is good. For now, at least. Alright, come here, machete guys. Now I'm ready for you. Shady guys, I'm trying to cut through here. <laughs> They're heading me off the path. I don't like that at all.
doesn't work the same way. Shit. Oh yeah, it's over. Not enough ammo, man. Just not enough ammo. We'll see, there's a couple of crates over here, see so if we can get to them. Oh! <laughs> Force the machete guy. What the hell's wrong with you? Oh my god, didn't I kill that guy? Oh no, this is the other one. Okay, we're going this way. Oh man, right in the freaking wagon. Careful wagon. Dude, look at them all. Oh my gosh, I was just hoping to get to the freaking ammo. I need to get to that ammo crate with war wagons right over there. A million guys. Gotta start making them count. Like that will not do. They gotta be kills. They gotta be kills, man. They gotta be kills. Hey Shaley, how's it going? rounds, 25 enemies. Terrible math. Especially since some of the enemies are gonna take five freaking shots. It's like they know I need that ammo crate. Look at them camping. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Uh, are you kidding me? I do have the 10 explosives. Well, it was 10. What's it now? Nine. I was hoping to do this. Regular ammo, though, as much as possible. Alright, can I get some of you regular guys to start lining up? Yeah, here we go. These all have to be killed, so. Terrible. Oh no, that was the bolt! What the hell? How'd I put my bolt on? Oh, boo! Well, I mean, I guess I could have pulled this off. We'll never know. Because the freaking game put my bolt on instead of my rifle. For no reason. Eight enemies, nine explosives. That is some bull, dude. Get all this way and then just have it freaking flake it on you. 
Are those five bucket heads? Is it really five bucket heads in the final wave? <laughs> it doesn't matter, I'm short on rounds anyway. Dude, this is like almost exactly what happened with my freaking pistol only. Damn, man, I think that's possible though. Pistol only, I was way further away. Bank shot. NCAA, March Madness. <laughs> no, not that one. Might have to try this again, man. Actually, that won't work against him. Oh, he had a freaking shot on me? Get out of here. These guys turn into like Olympic sprinters a second. Died of my arrows there. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, that was a ton of guys with shotgun only. Solo shotgun only. I know some people have done a shotgun only with like four people, three. I didn't think it was possible with one, but yeah, now I do. And I love how it says overrun, even though you all saw it. I got my 495 kills. No deaths. We saved Valentine today. And my prizes, I'm probably going to get griefed for it. Let's see. I forgot to pick up my hat. Didn't matter, I didn't get a cutscene anyway. Uh, where am I in Valentine? Over by Chabot Farm. Right into the heart of the beast, of course. Seven dollars, six fifty five player bounty. That was fun. Honestly, I didn't think that was going to be possible. I didn't even think I was going to get my thousand headshot kills. And we got like a hundred and something to reset it. 140 something, I think? 138 maybe? I forget. I have to go back home. To reset it. And then some additional beyond that. If only I had crafted. Actually, it wouldn't have mattered, right? I, I used all my incendiaries. I think the biggest thing was I, I used too many incendiaries on the earlier war wagons. So I didn't have them for the later war wagons. Well, hello again. And then obviously I just ran out of all the ammo. But that was to be expected, right? We, we shotgun ammo. Need a pouch, right? Need a pouch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right, so let me make sure. Oh, I can't check my weapons in here anyway. All right, let's go. Let's go to the Moonshine Shack. That went a lot more quickly than I thought it was going to go, too. Usually those CTAs, when you solo them, take like an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes. Uh, ammo looks right. Let's do this. Some of that. 
some succulent fish we crafted earlier at the very beginning of the stream. Oh, oh, this real quick. Cheers, everyone. Thanks, everyone, who watched today. If you're new, remember to hit that like button, that subscribe button. Like what you see, you like Red Dead content. Turn those notifications on and send them to all. If you're not new and you forgot on the way in for any reason, miss that like button on the way in for any reason, make sure you hit it for me on the way out. Till next time, everyone. Take care.